Hello everyone. Today's topic is transistive closure algorithm. Okay, so I am going to show you how to implement it in C language. Let me explain in brief what is transistive closure algorithm. Uh, well, it is used to find the reachability problem solution. So if we have a graph and uh, we have its adjacency matrix, then we can easily find that uh, a particular node is reachable from another node in order one time. Okay, yeah. let's start. First, uh, include its header files as is usual. Now, what we need to do is we are going to define using define preprocessor, which is used to define some syntax. Like uh, I'm going to send max as five. So if you have uh, this max shows that how many nodes are there. Okay. Now let me create a function prototype. So wait, transistor closer, and uh, the adjacency matrix is, you as you know is a two-dimensional matrix. So we are going to use here the two-dimensional matrix and passing here the maximum number of columns. And uh, again, I am again using. You will shortly know why I am using two two dimensional mat matrices. Also next, and now another variable. Okay, it's a function prototype. Now let me define the function. Right. Let me copy this. Now. First of all, we need some variables for looping. Okay, now start looping. How many times this loop occurs? If this loop occurs times for one more thing we have to do here is define the variable name which I have missed. So let me explain here uh, adj at and uh, this name t. Now, end time, and uh, then it shows the how many nodes are there. And, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to store the value of adjacency matrix in an another array. Okay, so since uh, this is a two dimensional matrix, so we are using here the two loops, one for rows and second for column. If ADJ matrix i through j column is equals equals one, as you know, if there is a path between two nodes, then in adjacency matrix there is one, and if there is no path between two matrix two nodes, then the matrix contains zero. So if there is one means if there is path between two nodes, then what we are going to do is we store the value of uh, that adjacency matrix in another two dimensional matrix named we, we named T that one. We store one in that matrix. And if that is not the case then we store zero. Okay. Now our second matrix is ready. Now what we are going to do is we again have to loop it multiple times. Again, another loop. You will shortly know why I am going. To, why I am using here multiple loops. Okay. This is the main uh, part of transistive closure algorithm. What we are going to do is we are going to store the value in the new matrix that we have created, named transition matrix, named for sample. So we store the value of T i. Sorry. or t at element i throw k column and t i throw j column 
So what we are going to do here is we are if the value inside this uh, matrix is one and also inside this matrix is one, then we compare the values of here and here. So if both if any of the matrix has value one, then the one is stored in this matrix. And if both has no if both has zero, then in that case the value inside it is, will be zero. Okay, we have clear declared the function here and defined it. Now we are going to call the function by in word in main. So let me create the main function and let me call the first of all we have to store the adjacency matrix by user and in order to do that we have to declare the two dimensional array and that will be ADJ and the number of rows and number of columns is max and we also need some variables okay. now we have print use to the user enter Uh, now, in order to store the value, uh, values in matrices in order, we have to loop it two times. So, let me start it by for loop uh, next time. by scanner and we store the value inside ADG media and uh, I throw in J column. Okay. Now we have to call the transition transistive closer function and pass it the adjacency matrix. One more thing we need is uh, another matrix of two dimension. So we have to declare that yeah. and provide its maximum capacity. Sorry. Okay. Now we have to pass that matrix here named as T. Let me change the name T R. Okay. And we also have to pass here the maximum number of nodes. Now what we have to do is to print the values inside the DR matrix. Now in order to print a two-dimensional matrix, we also have to again loop it two times. And do this again. Now we print by in F the value of the person D. And uh, what we are going to print is uh, T or matrix I throw and J throw. Okay. And let me change the line when one uh, row is completed. So by we will do it by print a new line character. Okay. Let me run it. There are some errors. Okay, there is no need of semicolon after preprocessor type two. Okay, now we have to do one thing. Uh, we can't use preprocessor directive in our uh, main function as declared in function prototype. Let me change it as a global variable instead of preprocessor directive. So and next is equals to five. Now we try to run it. We have to include here the assignment of it. Okay. What is the mistake here? Let me show you which matrix I'm going to show you. Okay, I have made some changes in my code. So, in order to view it properly, 
so here is the printf statement and some other printf statement here ok the main logic is same I include it for only uh, understanding purpose let me execute this ok and the graph which I am going to use as demonstration purpose is this now first of all I have to write its adjacency matrix this graph so in order to do that I'll write the adjacency matrix of this graph as this 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 you can easily find it and uh, if you, you have any problem in finding the adjacency matrix uh, from a graph then you can google it next one is 1 1 0 0 and 1 and this is 1 0 What this graph shows, what this uh, result, the transistive closure graph is sh showing. First of all, it's showing that can we uh, are can we reach to another node from this one is or not. First of all, let me see if I want to move from one to five. So it is showing one first row and fifth column. What is represents one? One represents means we uh, we are able to reach at five from first node. How? Let's see here. 1 to 4, 4 to 5. It is true. Okay. Check here another uh, node. For example, we want to reach from 3 to 4. Okay. So let us uh, see here 3. It is third node. And 3 to 5, 5 to 4. So this graph gives us the reachability problem solving strategy through which we can solve our problem. Yeah, if there is uh, any problem which says you have to find some uh, path is that is visible from a particular node or not then we uh, then we are going to use it there the transistive closure algorithm okay this is the whole process thank you